Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, September the 8th. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, my heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the King. Alleluia. Psalm 45. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, my heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the King. My tongue is nimble like the pen of a scribe. You, O King, are fairer than the children of the earth. Grace is poured upon your lips because God has blessed you forever. O mighty warrior, gird your sword upon your thigh with your glory and your majesty, and in your majesty ride triumphantly for the cause of truth and meekness and righteousness. And your right hand shall teach you terrible things your arrows pierce the hearts of your enemies, and peoples fall beneath you. O God, your throne is forever and ever. Your scepter is a scepter of righteousness. O King, you love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your peers. Your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloes, and out of the ivory palaces, Stringed instruments make you glad. The daughters of kings are among your honorable ladies. On your right stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Listen, daughter, incline your ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty. For he is your master. Worship him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor. The princess is glorious in her chamber, her clothing woven with gold. She is brought to you in many colored robes. Her virgin companions follow her. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into your palace. In place of your ancestors shall be your children. You will make them rulers in all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered by all generations. Therefore, the people praise you forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. My heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the King. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 10, beginning at verse 31. The Jews took up stones again to stone him. And Jesus replied, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these are you going to stone me? The Jews answered, It is not for a good work that we're going to stone you, but for blasphemy. Because you, though only a human being, are making yourself God. Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law, I said you are gods? If those to whom the word of God came were called gods, and the scripture cannot be annulled, can you say that the one whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world is blaspheming because I said I am God's son? If I am not doing the works of my Father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried to arrest him again, but he escaped from their hands. He went away again across the Jordan to a place where John had been baptizing earlier, and he remained there. Mary came to him, and they were saying, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many believed in him there. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church of the world, for the mission of the church, 
that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, for David, our vicar, for Brother Joe, the community servant, and for Pastor John and the church in his home, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, the hungry, the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Donald, our president, and Doug, our governor, and all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the dead, especially Philip and Marilyn and Wayne, rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of those who shared our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Most holy Jesus, our brother and savior, we acknowledge you as our sovereign, and to you our praise is due. Accept these our humble prayers, which we offer in thanksgiving for your majesty and glory. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.